Okay, so, if you are watching this on YouTube, this is actually being dragged from a stream. Um, and I am literally just about to start building a big overhaul for the bees. And I know I'm doing it in creative because that's just how I kind of do things around here. So, um, I'm basically going off this image right here, which is going to be an inspiration. I think we'll modify it a little bit and I probably won't put in this strange bit here and I might make it a bit wider and less of a, a semicircle roof, if that's what you call it. Um, so we're going to see how this turns out and I'm currently streaming at the moment but this is going to be... Uh, just highlights taken from that stream just for today's episode because I'm going to do like a six hour stream and at the moment I am on Where does it say it should say here, right? One sec. Oh So I'm on an hour and 43 uh, In my stream which is pretty good. So um, yeah, if you are uh, if you're live here watching me good for you If not I'm gonna craft on the YouTube and I'll see you later, right? So this will be a quick cut to uh, obviously this clip from my last. Um, I'm at the four hour mark in my stream and so far in creative I've managed to build a big old bee hive nest thing. It's even got vents and everything but um, I'm not obviously going to let them out. I've got storage, you know, you've got a nice little walk around area you can do. It's uh, quite a nice spot, to be fair. Can't even lie. Um, so, yeah. But, I think the coolest thing is, it just, like, fits in. It just really suits this side of the map, or the area, if you want to say, as such. Um, so, yeah, I thought, you know what? I'm going to chuck in some gravel, do some other textured stuff. Um, done a little water fountain, little beauty spot, you know. Uh, looks pretty good, and obviously this is the highlight. We've got these, and we've got all these nests. Um, I've got a couple of these. We got loads of stuff going on. I've bred loads of bees, and we've got loads of storage. So it's actually going pretty well uh, at the moment. Let's go collect. Let's see that one. Uh. That one, that one, that one, that one. Mate, they coming out angry. Oh my god, there's a lot of bees though. A lot of bees. Oh my god. They're going to be so annoyed. Well, they already are. I love how they come out the nest. They like front flip out like yeah you you good bro <laughs> and it's great in here you know i've got sealed off in there it's sealed off there so yeah i'm really happy with the with the design actually of this place came out really well you know just the use of loads of different trap doors and everything and obviously up here we have the little upstairs area which i think i'm just gonna leave empty to be honest um to be fair, I better hang some lanterns and get some light in here. Otherwise, mobs are going to spawn and probably be creepers. So, not the best idea in the world to have creepers creeping. Because no one likes creepers creeping. And we know that very well on this channel. So, yeah. That's how far I've got at the moment. I'm not going to waffle any longer. But I will keep you updated in the next clip. See you in a bit. Right, so guys, welcome again to the next clip. And we're looking at wall designs, and I come across cranes, which is awesome. Like, I don't know, I don't know what that is. Mate, I can put a little working crane in here somewhere. That would be insane. But, um, yeah, no, just looking at little designs for elsewhere other than having just a one block tool one of these really it's a bit naff um so i think maybe something like that would be pretty good now 
that acacia wood. Wow, that looks really good, actually. Okay, I'll open that. Uh, not too sure about that. Oh, excuse the yawn. Um, I've been live for four and a quarter hours. Um, nah, not really. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, that's what we're getting at at the moment. That is kind of basic, not gonna lie. That's like the Starbucks. If, that, if Starbucks was a wall, that would be what it looked like. That looks kind of funky, but kind of cool. It looks like the Mexican border. With all this and that. That looks that's a really good idea, though. But, I will get back to you in the next... Oh, mate, that is what Minecraft needs. That's pretty cool. Um, That's old school texture. But I will get back to you in the next clip. Um, With what we have so far got up to. So, I will see you then. Right, so YouTube, welcome back to the next clip taken from the stream. This is how far I've got. I've got a underground mushroom cafe, which is going to be right here, so no one will ever know. Shit. Maybe that guy will. I think I just ruined it again. But yeah, basically, this is, uh, let me just set this today. Okay, let me just dig up this real quick, and then we'll be groovy. So basically, it took me a while, but finally got there with the shape, and we've got loads more where we can actually put stuff. Uh, okay, let me take that out. There we go. So, this is literally a beach, right? Just to plain eye, you're like, oh yeah, a beach. Okay, nothing special, you know. And then, uh, when you go underground in the mushroom cafe, sick, mate. You got a window, like, underground. It's like that, uh, hotel in Dubai, I think. Where, uh, there's a big fish tank in the middle. And you can actually, like, get divers to bring up messages for you. Like, would you, like, will you marry me type of shit, you know. So no one suspects that thing. Let's go. Oh, mate. Okay. And there we go. There is one mushroom cafe. Pretty good. If you ask me. Okay. I'm actually going to change some of this to sand. Looks really bad with stone. Okay, let's just do this quickly. I know I'm in creative, but I have been all day. Leave me alone. There we go. And now they've got a clear view, I suppose. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll get some fish. Oh, yeah. Puff of fish. Don't want that. Yeah, boy. I hope they ain't gonna die. <laughs> this should be alright. But yeah, this is it. Creeping or creeping. I told you. So, we go down into the mushroom calf. Alright. We're chilling. We're chilling. Nope. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I kind of have to keep that. Okay. 
Well, maybe the path can come down over the beach. That's a pretty cool idea. It's like the, the, the mum and dad's toddler's section because it's small and then you got, you know, the big bit here. And yeah, anyways, no one cares. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, what I'm trying to say is, yeah, yeah, you got the beach, you know, and then you got Mushroom Cafe and you're like, wait, what, how'd you get there? And then, bam. Pretty pang, right? Pretty pang. I like it. Sweet. <laughs> I actually found a use for birch, so yeah, pretty cool. All right, uh, and then the toilets would be in here. Pretty funky, but pretty small. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, it's literally built under a cave. So rip. There we go. Done. Toilet acquired. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Makes it even better. <laughs> oh mate. If only you could get like mushroom steps. That would make no sense, but it'd be funny. Alright. And that's like one trippy toilet, you know. Uh right, okay. Right, well, I think... I do want to minimise as much stone as possible. Right. Um, there we go. And then this bit over here looks a bit meh. Go. And bam, finished. Oh yeah. So that's how far I've got on the YouTube side of things. Better write this time down as well, 5.35, 5.35. And I will see you in the next one. So welcome back to the video. We're finally done. We have done the beach area, kind of. For now, we haven't decorated it. We've done... Oh my god, why do I have to yawn, man? We've done this little mushroom cafe under the sea, under the ground. You know, little funky toilet area, which I'm not actually going to put anything in. And, um, I've had to put lanterns on pretty much everything to stop the mob problem. Um, actually saying that, I have forgot to put some on places like this. And... I think that might be alright. I don't know. It probably won't be. i still got a little bit of the wall just to finish there. But apart from that, the wall is actually done. And I'm actually really impressed with how it came out. It uh, probably came out better than I expected. I can't even lie. So that's obviously a good thing. And... Eh. Um, I, th I forgot what I was going to say. Um... So yeah, beach, wall, cafe, uh, oh yeah, I added like a lot of leaves just to this little area here, like this little steps. So that's another yawn from Home Gamer in under a minute. So yeah, looks, uh, looks pretty good I suppose. I'd say so my lover. And uh, boom. I think that is going to about do it for this part so I think what I'm gonna do now is head back and I might potentially either go mining or do some more building um, I don't know I, I never yawn why why am I yawning I don't fucking know um where do I find that where do I find achievement? Oh, wait. Oh, right, right, right. Adventure? Hit the bullseye of a target block. How'd you make that? 
Use a token of undying to un cheat death. Kill two phantoms with a piercing arrow? Nah, shut up. Kill any hostile monster at the end. Or the beginning. Free the end. Collect dragon's breath? Respawn the ender dragon? What? Escape the island, hold the egg, fly lights, levitate up 50 blocks from the shulk. Huh, okay. Husbandry? What? Catch a fish without a fishing rod. Lol. Eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you. Oh, right, you move it holding that. Oh, okay. Use campfire to collect honey out of that. Alright, so these are all done. Breed all the animals. There's 19 animals. Tame all variants of cats. Just Minecraft in general. <laughs> the heart and story of the game. There is a lot to do in the nether. Rescue a ghost from the nether, bring it safely home to the overworld, and then kill it? Eh? Loot a chest in the bastion remnant. Get a full suit in nether, right? Mad. Have every potion effect applied at the same time? Charge a respawn anchor to the max. Okay. I've explored all of them. Nice. Okay. Alright, well... Yeah, we are uh, not sure what I'm going to do right now. Uh, change back to survival like I should. Maybe I'll go cheat the undying. Use, use the totem. With the COVID cocaine vaccine. <laughs> anyway, look at that villager down there being a goof. Right, I'm going to go. And I'll see you in the next clip. I have another farmer villager. And we are six and a half hours into my stream. We need to make a mega melon farm, a mega pumpkin farm, we need to do the chickens, we need to do the cows, um, that's about it, so, uh, melon farm, pumpkin farm, chicken coop, cow pen. Oh, wait. We got a lot to do on the Minecraft list. It's going pretty well, I'd say. But I might have to get off soon anyway. I'm not too sure. And if I stream later, it'll be on World War Two. So, oh yeah, I bought loads of this down. It's like, hey yo, do I need food? <laughs> but these guys take that, so that's pretty good. And I got rid of a lot of my nether warts. Oh, let in fucking game there, boy. Now, I've been meaning to get rid of all my potatoes, you legend. Good lad. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, sick. So, yeah, it's kind of one of them. And also, like I was saying in the... um, oh, I can't remember if it was in the other clip or not. But basically, I can get unlimited emeralds with diamonds. But diamonds run out in this world. So, I think... To get unlimited diamond, I'll need to find someone that trades emeralds for diamonds. I don't know how rare that is. Or if it's a thing, if you could even do that. But it would help quite a lot. Oh, wait. So did I put string on there? Yeah, I did put string on there. Okay, so, yeah, we need to do, and uh, obviously... Sugar cane farm. Boom. Right. But, apart from that, I think we're pretty good. It's annoying that the farmers don't take um, other things. Beet. Farm. Okay. Right. Take that out. Da, do that and boom right so i'll catch you in the next clip
How are you in my house?